Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. What a privilege it is to be here this morning, to stand in this present presence. I want to start with prayer. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we, we love you this morning, Father. We praise you, we honor you, we glorify you, Father. Thank you, Father. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and we will be glad in it. Father, thank you, Father, for the privilege, Father, to, to, be, to be immersed in your presence, Father, to, to be immersed in your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we, we welcome you this day. We welcome you. We welcome you this morning. We need you, Holy Spirit. We love you. We love on you, Father. We love you. We, we praise you, Father. Father, reveal to us your, your heart, Father, your purposes, God. We praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Dear brothers and sisters, this morning I want to, to, uh, to take a look in the Bible and explore God's love and God's faithfulness, first of all, towards Israel. God has called Abraham and he, he blessed his natural seed and we as we as believers, we are also blessed in, in this. Let's, let's take a look. Um, let's open up uh, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 7, starting from verse 6. I'm going to read. Um, Deuteronomy 7, starting from verse 6. So, God is here speaking to Israel. He says, for you are a holy people to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you to be a holy people for himself, a special treasure above all the peoples on the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love on you, nor choose you because you were more in number than any other people, for you were the least of all peoples. But the Lord loves you. Yes, God shows us here his heart. He says, Israel, I have chosen you. I've chosen you. And you're holy to me. And I have separated you from all the other nations to be my special treasure. And I love you not because you're the, the best people. You're the greatest people of all. But I just love you. Brothers and sisters, we see how God deals with the people of Israel in the Old Testament. He's, he's taking them. He's taking them by his right hand and he is leading them, them the prophet says. And, and God, he says, I have written you on the palm of my hand to Israel. He, he takes them through all, yes, the Old Testament. And brothers and sisters, uh, the Bible says the Old Testament it is written for us as an admonition and an example for us. When we see how God deals with the people of Israel, we can explore God's heart. And in the New Testament, Peter, he writes to us, the church, he writes, You are a holy people, a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy people. You're his own special people. And God, he has chosen us from the nations, from the nations. We are, at first of all, we were not partakers of the covenants. It, it, belongs, it belonged to Israel, but to God's great mercy, he, has, he had this plan of, of redemption in Jesus Christ, the anointed one. We are grafted in as, as believers from the nation into his good olive tree. Oh, what depth of the riches. We are, yes, we are partakers. We are now in, in Christ Jesus. We are partakers of the anointing, of the fatness, of the freshness. And through the Holy Spirit, we are, yes, we are, we are children of God. We, we are the people of the living God. We are the, and we, he pours out his love on us. And 
This is great. And e either he did not choose us because in his own, in our own strengths, we are so good, we are so great. No. It's all the honor, all the glory, and all the giftings and the callings and everything he wants to do with us. It's in his, it's, it, all honor belongs to him. And, and we are chosen to serve him. And, and we love him and he loves us and, and we, are, we are one family in, in the nations. And, and yes, he loves us so much. And yes, he, shows, he showed us his love while dying for us. When we were not, when we were even strangers, we were not partakers, we were strangers from the household of God. But through his great mercy, he has sat on his, he has, he has taken us, like Israel, he has taken Israel by his right hand and he's leading them and he's leading us. He broke the yoke of bondage which laid heavy on us. The, the enemy, he was, he was too strong, we could not rescue us in his own strength. And God, he is continuing in the Old Testament through the prophets, we see his heart. He says to Israel, Israel, I love you with an everlasting love. That's why I have drawn you unto me. You are, I've drawn you, you are mine. When you walk through the waters, the rivers, they will not overflow you because you are Precious in my sight. I love you. Um, when we currently take a look at the world news, Israel is, is right in the center of it. But still we see God's faithfulness. God has made an everlasting covenant. And through the Old Testament, through Jesus Christ, even if they are not all yet believing, the book of, or let's jump a little bit in the book of Romans. The book of Romans. We as, as uh, believers, we should not, be, um, we should not um, boast against Israel. We should not say, oh Israel, you have not. We should humble ourselves. We should humble ourselves before, before God. And I, um, um, in the book of Romans, I want to read some verses. Um, the book of Romans, uh, starting from verse 9, it, it's also dealing with Israel, the nations of, nation of Israel. Um, and uh, uh, I start from verse 25, Romans 25. Paul, he's speaking to the church in Rome. He's speaking to us, to uh, Gentile believers, not Jewish believers. And he says... For I do not des desire, brothers, that you should be ignorant of, of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own opinion, that blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentile has come in. And so all Israel will be saved. So Paul, he's speaking of a future, he's uh, saying of a future event when all Israel will see Jesus Christ as their Messiah. This is the re uh, redemption of Israel. And yes, I said we should not boast towards Israel. We should not lift ourselves up. We should not say how good we are and Israel. We should humble ourselves before the plan of God because God has, a, has an awesome plan in this, in this hour we're living in. He, uh, he's dealing with Israel. He's also dealing with us. And, and, and we are, yeah, we are grafted in. I just want to, to wrap up. Father, we, we love you and we praise you this morning. Father, we, we thank you how, you how you led Israel through the wilderness, how you, you, you grafted us into your holy plan, Father. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your spirit, Father. Thank you for the Old Testament. Thank you for the, the great example Thank you for your heart. Thank you for revealing your heart, Father. We, we humble ourselves, Father. We, we, want to, we want to bless Israel. We want to pray for Israel, Father. We, we pray, Father, open their eyes, Father. Father, we, we, right now in this time, we, 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 we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We say, yes, 
You are, we lift our eyes up to the mountains. Our help comes from the Lord, Father. You will not sleep or slumber. We praise you. We praise you this morning, Father. We, we love on you, Father. We, we praise you and we thank you for your great love. In Jesus' name, amen.